Hello and welcome back to the newest episode of Bloodborne. For today's episode, um, let me think. Okay, so we <clears throat> okay, so we killed okay, we killed thy Carnelia. And the blood starved beast. Uh, I didn't go. Oops. Okay, so we killed by Carmelia and the blood starved beast. What we need to do this episode is. I forgot about this guy. Okay, I think we went down here last time and I got completely lost. Isn't that right? Also, a good little bit of news since last time, my new controller came in, so, as you can see, I'm not shooting off to the left anymore, so, yeah, simple movement should be a lot easier. Why did I tap the circle? So that's what, the third death now? And so far all the deaths have been because me trying to do something kind of stupid. Because that I was trying to see like, hey, I'm doing this, but the buttons are still a little stiff because I haven't broken in the new controller yet. Man, I'm dumb. <laughs> Well, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to a certain lady, which we can save, bring into Obadon. Okay. And also, this is a really good place to farm bullets in case you need to. But I recommend just using the dungeon I showed y'all yesterday, because no real reason not to use that. And this time, I'm not going to hit the roll button while sprinting at the side of a ledge. Because as we just saw, that didn't really work out too well. Ah, still missed it. Oh well. Well this time, hopefully... Yeah, this whole thing should be a lot easier now. Just gotta aim right here. Roll. Right here. What? Oh, wait, it was right there. Oh. Yeah, well. Should be. Right here. I think that door leads to something, but I don't really remember how to get in there. Oh, wait, that's the hunter's workshop. Alright, now we are back down here. And the main thing we want to do is... Go this way, I think. Ow. Ignore big boy. Since we upgraded our weapon, we're... Pretty much gonna be one shotting most things here. Okay, yeah, we kill these two. We can go down here and fight this dude again. I think it's over here. I don't see it. I could have swore it was somewhere near here. Oh 
No, this just loops right back around. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Huh. I don't really remember too much. Okay, where does this go? It might be down here. So, oh, it came from up? Sure? Yeah, I got no clue where I'm going right now. Just kind of hoping we go somewhere. Oh wait, this was just the way to buy Carmelia's. Oops. Actually, now that we're wait, did I hit the record button? Yes, I did. We're five minutes in and we haven't done anything. Okay, that's good. Kind of. We're just gonna ignore all these guys and. Uh... Are you kidding me? I think the path I need to take will lead us up this way, yep, and this is how we get there. Now, where we're going right now is not a area we have to go to in the slightest, like, there are two bosses and one of them is an absolute joke. But, I think... I think we can actually get some level 2 bloodstones, or bloodstone shards. Twin blood shards, I think. Well, we can get two of whatever they're called. And it's actually still day. Or kinda. Which, we don't really need to deal with this area too much, because it's mostly just a farming area. So, we're just going to keep on moving. And we also now have some bone marrow ash. What does it do? I don't know. But now we should be in, uh, what's it called? Uh, I don't really remember. Hemwick. Yeah, that's the one. That's what I'm thinking of. I'm not sure if there is another lamp, another lamp or lantern thing in the later part of Hemwick, but I just want to make sure that I'm not like gonna be dying out there. Also, there, eh, bummer. But hey, we could get eight of those, and Hemwick should be this one. Yep. Which Himwick is an area of a bunch of witches, I think, is what it's supposed to be. It's also where we find out those little stone pebbles we've been finding all over the place are actually petrified eyes. So, uh, yeah, do with that information as you will. Here's the good things, really. By this point of the game, we've already overdone this area by a lot. Like, we don't need really anything here, I believe. But I just want to kind of show off the bosses, which... <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, see, twin blown stone shards. Besides those, this area is really just... I'm just going to say it. The actual boss to this area, and the actual enemies themselves, they're a lot easier than this area ought to be. Like, by this point in the game, like, we haven't even reached night yet, 
officially. Like, it's still dawn. And, yeah. Blood vials, heal up a little. Oh, you're kidding. Oh. Well, that actually broke her out of her animation, and she drops molotovs. Or blood vials, I guess. <laughs> and there is an item right here that you can drop down and grab. Or you could just walk around, but... I always forget that you can walk around. Because the Bloodborne, despite it being a Souls game technically, it's very unsouls like Like, it's difficult, but unlike the other ones where it's like, you gotta take your time, you gotta figure out what you want to do before you do it. This one's just... Go get or have fun. And also, here's a shortcut that just leads right back down to where we were. Like, at the literal start of the area. This is one of the few go-backs. Can you stop that? Yeah, that's one of the few shortcuts that isn't, like, an actual run all the way back to where you were. Which I really enjoy. Okay, I guess. You're kidding me. No. Bad old lady. Get good. If I remember right, there should be... You? Yeah. You there. Up. Down there. And they drop bloodstone shards, which are kind of useful, I guess. You know, we might have should have gotten the uh, lamp or lantern by now that we can use. But yeah, I completely forgot. Oh, hey, you. No, you don't. Give us those twin bloodstone shards. Might as well heal. Like, why not? Okay, from here. Also, one of the other main reasons we're going to Hemwick Charnel is because after you kill the final boss of this area, you unlock the ability to use Carol Runes, I believe is what they're called. <laughs> Which one of them is actually right there. We can just run all the way back there, which is easy enough. Oh, you really had to just throw me in the fire, didn't you? Hey, buddy. And please give me the blood. Thank you. Oh, hey, buddy. Did you just die from the fire? Ain't that some... Hey, sweet. I don't believe I remember picking that up my last time playing. And also, from right here, can't tell. One of these ones here. She wants a nice big hug. And to rip your eyes out of your skull. Which... Is always a very nice deed. Now, there are two things to do, or technically three, four things in this area, really. You can unlock this door, which is a shortcut all the way back to that first area we were just in. 
but it's more of a run back than the last one. We can get some cold bloods. I believe there's another item over this way, if I remember right. No, but I do see a dog. Oh. Well, there's a lot more dogs here than I remember. Oh, hello. Yes. those for my thank you for dying so quickly and kindly and then that right there is the moon room which whenever I was doing my little make sure it all works run through my controller drifted right as I got down there to pick it up and I just fell into the lake and had to start this whole area back over which is never fun to do. In any game, really, if you just finish fighting a boss and you get sent all the way back, no one really likes that. Also, I think it's like this right here. Once you unlock something later in the game, which, but don't worry, I'll take us back here to do that whenever we get there. But once you get a special item, you can go there and it kind of calls in a carriage you can just get in and go to a secret area. It's kind of like Bloodborne's version of the painted world, but in real life, I guess. Oh, they're still following me. Can you not? Kindly? I'm not allowed to come this far. If we break these... Our little buddy here drops some more twin bloodstone shards, which we like. And then we go down here. To a boss fight. Which we should still have the... Oh, did I not get more fire paper? Oh, that, that's a bummer. Oh well, actually I think these are the ones that unlock it for us to sell. We're just gonna run right past this fella. Come over... yeah. I could have sworn I saw her spawn in right there. There she is. That's the thing with this boss. You gotta keep a close eye open. Or whenever you think you're going to see her. And I didn't turn fast enough, which means we gotta go hunt for her again. Oh, there she is. Okay. Didn't see her, so let's... There she is, I think. Oh, you're kidding me. Didn't see anything, so she's over here. Uh-oh. Okay. She's probably over here, I think? No? Up here? There you are. Remember people, in every video game you play, 
You want to fight the old lady. Because old ladies are always evil. And this is a fact. Every single old lady you've ever known is secretly evil. And we've now killed both old ladies. Now these creepy dudes disappear. But if you do kill them, you do have to be very careful because they can still fight back. Now we're going to hit that for our way back. Because now we can get this bad boy here. And once we get back in the Hunter's Dream, we should be able to do a lot of stuff. And by that I mean upgrade our weapons a few times. Which is always nice to do. So that's one boss in 20 minutes. What's the next boss of this game? Uh, Shadows of Yarnum, I believe, is the next boss I can fight. Ooh, and these guys now should have some fire paper for us. No? Hmm. I just swore it was that boss. Now we need bloodstone chunks. You know, I could have. I felt like we collected a lot more of those than we did. Really? No fire paper at all. Huh. It might be that one fight that we help Irene with. Very well. Let me stand eh, what should we do? Let's get more skill. Lovely. Oh yeah, and if y'all don't remember, this is the dungeon that we used, which is pretty much just a way of easy XP. Cathedral Ward is where we want to go. Which, from here, if Irene hasn't... Wait, we don't want to go fight Rom yet, do we? Or is she in that area? I don't really remember. And here's Irene. Oh, hello there. Perfect timing. I must warn you not to go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Henrik, an old hunter, has gone mad, and he's my mark. Alrighty, now let's go kill this dude. And by kill him, I mean let's go run down there and stab him in the back once. And hope Irene can save our butts before we get absolutely obliterated. Because that's one very important piece of information about the hunters, like the rogue hunters and any of the human enemies in this game, really. They are overpowered, like, very strangely strong. Like, it's weird how that is, but, hey. Oh, I forgot we can't go through there, so we gotta... Sneak slowly around the edge and just shove her hand up his spine. Not gonna, not gonna parry me. Helping you out, remember? Hey! Uh oh, uh oh. Irene, help! You're stuck on the wrong side of the rock. And this should kill him off, I think. Isn't that too much help? Looks like he has just a little bit that Irene's gonna take. Thank you, Irene. That gives us the hair room, or air, I guess. 
That wasn't necessary of you, but you have my thanks. We made it with our lives. You're not bad at all. You must have killed Gascoigne as well, then. He was falling apart, I'm sure it had to be done. But try to keep your hands clean. A hunter should hunt beasts. Leave the hunting of hunters to me. <laughs> Irene is our friend. Technically. So let's go ahead and return to the dream. Which, that's not really a boss, but I'm gonna say it is just so I can boost my numbers. And, uh... Let's go ahead and go to Cathedral Ward, why not? Because from here we have another boss, which... If I remember right, I've collected everyone I can from the starting area. So I'm fairly sure. Which is the old lady, I think you can get that child, the woman there. And actually, Irene might spawn up there at the top of the steps now, all heavily wounded and whatnot, which... Sadly, we can't save her, but she does disappear, so... I'll count that as a win, even though I'm pretty sure she died. And also, this whole area... And also, depending on what time you come here, like... If it's nighttime in game, which. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. I feel real silly now. Because I kind of just skipped over an area. Gate open. Now you open. Lovely. Yeah, I kind of accidentally just ran past this very important detail. Which we are gonna have to uh, run back to. Which I'm just gonna take the this direct this direction to it because meh. Why not? I feel really stupid now because of this. I forgot to touch the skull. That's what turns it to night. It should be the Grand Cathedral, I believe. And it shouldn't be gone yet, because I believe Irene and her last dude only show up after the Blood Moon. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, we forgot to touch the skull of Lothar. Lothar, no, not Lothar. Ludwig. And now go silent for the cutscene. Enjoy. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me? No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave.
Is that... There we go. I think you should hear me now. That was cool. I didn't know I could do that with a controller. Apparently I can mute all audio. That's something. And now it should be dusk. I know, I'm a silly billy for not doing that beforehand. But... What you just saw was Provost Willem talking to his disciple, Lawrence. Who is Lawrence? Well, he's a boss in the DLC that you actually fight in that area. Now, I thought that was Ludwig, the first hunter's or whatever's dog? Oh yeah, but as I mentioned earlier, these guys just kind of lay there and stay asleep if you show up er, later. And also, you got these things. Big tentacle boys. And also, our old friend is here. He's... What? Um... Huh. Okay, I guess. Never had that happen before. Don't really know what I did to get that. Well, let's uh, talk to the dead guy and get into this area. Fear the old blood. And yes, the skeleton is what told us. Yeah, this is where the whole game starts going from, hey, these are some crazy townsfolk and some pretty weird things, to, oh my goodness, eldritch horror abominations. Which, the only thing about this area is, it's not really crazy long per se, but it is almost all entirely identical, and I'm almost 100% not going to take the right paths. So we, we're probably not going to make it to the next boss before and then. I'm not, buddy. Yeah, we're just gonna run past everything and hope we can get around it all. Which, the easiest thing to do here is just go around everything on this little ledge here. Because now we can pretty much kill everything with a single repose. Go down here. Hey, I forget about you. Well, that should be enough to level up our gun. I went the wrong way. Yeah, but the reason they keep putting in crows like that are just to be annoying. Like, at this point in the game, they don't do enough damage to be a threat. They're just there to be a nuisance, really. This way. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. I had a good breakfast, so I'm a, uh, I'm a bit full. Pick up the bullets here. Oh, hey. Oh. I'm gonna kill you two just because I don't want to deal with you two later on when I have to deal with a stupid dog here too. Also, this person, if you talk to them, they become a beast. And yes, all of these dogs can and will break out. And also, if you go that way, it's a shortcut to the very starting area of the game. Back in the Istikov's clinic. You can also climb up to this building, but it's nothing too important to me. At least not something I'd worry about. 
Oh, I always hate those stupid dogs right there. Alright, let's uh, continue on. There should be a little jumpy scare right here. So we're going to ignore that. Roll on over here. And go this way. Ignore you. Kill Mr. Runny Boy. Okay. Thank you for this kind gesture. Now, if you can drop some... Okay, guess I won't get any Molotovs. Lovely. We drop down right here, pick this up, and we go this way. And there are those guys from the starting area, too. They... Here's a small spot where they reused a lot of things. But hey, it's not too bad. Ooh, messages. Yeah, real neat. That, I believe, cuts around to a small shortcut I'd never remember about. So we're just gonna go ahead and ignore that. This cannon dude, by the time he shoots, he's already too late. So he'll probably miss every shot. Then we go down this way. See that snake boy? He is an abomination. And will likely be the cause of your death if you don't kill him in one shot. Which we might be able to kill him. On. Okay, we got him, we got him. This guy here is terrifying. I mean that literally. He is the first dude you find like this, and he has a snake, or a bunch of snakes, that kind of explode out of his skull. I believe he's the first enemy that does poison damage, and this is what he becomes. It's terrifying, and yeah. I don't like it. Also, I think this might be the shortcut right here. And also, I'm pretty sure it actually leads to a fancy dude. It gives us stuff. Yeah, here he is. Mr. Kane Dude. What does he do? Not really that sure. Ah, a new face, are you? But he wears a bucket. And an accomplished hunter, it would appear. <laughs> I am Volta. Master of the League. Members of the League cleanse the streets of all the filth that spread about during the hunt. Like any half-decent hunter ought to. You know? Haven't you seen enough of these wretched beasts? Freakish slugs and mad doctors. Sentence these fiends to death with the help of your League confederates. What do you say? Why not join the League? Yes. Sure. As a hunter, well should. Commit the start. Our own Carol Rune, symbol of the League. He gives us the impurity. Brims with defiled scum and is permeated by their rotten stench. Shall hunt in Ooh, cooperation with your fellows, your League confederates. Which is really kind of neat, but it also unlocks the shortcut. Hello there. Which we still have 20 minutes to make it to the Shadows of Yarnum and kill him. That should be possible. I think. As long as I can actually make it there in with enough time, because this is the area that always confuses me, because I always end up turning back on myself multiple times. Because, originally my idea was to follow the lit path to get to the boss. I learned that the lit path 
doesn't lead directly to the boss. It might, but every time I follow it all the way down there, I always get, like, taken off some random path. Oh yeah, and there's the Venom I had mentioned earlier. Now, here we are. This is the part that confuses me the most, because you can come down here Go ahead and shove our arm up to take you up like any sane American ought to. If I remember right, this. Oh, wait, is this where I need to go? No. That doesn't lead anywhere, I don't think, so I think I need to go this way. Right across here. I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see the roots. I see the roots. I'm right. <laughs> and also, I think there's a weapon we can get right here. I think it's a weapon. Oh no, it's a rune. Yeah. Oh well, same difference, really. And another pig. And insta kill the pig. We have 20 minutes, and we are making good time for this next boss. And there are two ways to beat the Shadows of Yarnum, who are just hiding down there. The fog is actually covering them up because they're already there, which is real fun. And also, here is a big glitch, strategy, trick, whatever you want to call it, to beating these guys, okay? Let me real simple. I'm going to run over. We're going to exit out. Go right back in. But, here's the trick. We don't want to run straight back into the arena this time, because now there's going to be a fog wall. And just for the purpose of this, I'm going to turn it offline, because... I mean, we don't really need to be online, and that'll just take up extra time that we don't really... need to take. It, it spawns us back in right here. Now, we got to walk right here. And we do this. Now, it all. Uh oh. I messed it up. Lovely. Don't you just love messing up a glitch right when you're doing it? What did I have to. Ah, I think I was supposed to continuously hold it and run into the wall, wasn't I? Oops. My, my mistake. Because last time I tried this, I messed it up. By that I mean I died, came back, and accidentally glitched it out because the controller was drifting, as you all may remember. I was like right over here somewhere. fight them the normal way, but I really wanted to show you all the glitch, which I think is real neat, but I can... I don't know if I can actually recreate what I did. Because I only did it the once, and I did it while my controller was glitching out, so... Maybe that was just a side effect of glitchiness. Uh, I keep trying, though. I mean, I got plenty of time, and... 
15 minutes? I could probably beat them there. But, let's actually check and see if this is a real glitch or if my game just crashed. Like, bad, kind of bad. Hmm. Alright. Whenever you don't know the answer to something, you go into YouTube. <laughs> Let's do the shake off so you can see some of these animations, which that's kind of cool. Actually brings in some of the things. Well, hopefully we did it, and we didn't, but oh well. Let's just fight them normal, like. Which, the trick to these guys is waiting for one of them to charge you. Whichever one will do it for you. And not get absolutely obliterated like I just did. Okay, let's try the glitch a few more times, and eh, whatever happens, happens. Just because, technically, I'm fairly certain I'm not in the level range that I'm supposed to be fighting these guys in. Not by a long shot. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's also heal up. Hmm. Let's take off this big old cape so we can actually see our legs when we try it. Now this should work, because we were a lot further away. No? Alright. Next attempt. Oh, it's doing this again. Fun, fun, fun. This probably looks really weird. Did it work this time? No, it didn't. How did I get it to go first try last time? But now I'm failing it so badly. Like, I'm just trying to show y'all how to do this fun little glitch. Because this was meant to be, like, the instructional how-to yada 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 junk. Which maybe we need to turn more to the side. Hey, we did it this time. Let's go, boys. Let's put our stuff back on. Sweet, we did it. So you had to be 
So you... What? Could have sworn I saw another one right there, but oh well, who cares? Now we have free kills for everyone. And at the level our skill is at, it should only take about one or two reposts to kill them. Or two to three? Yeah, it looks like it'll be three. Four, okay. Yeah, because in my last playthrough, I got them all dead within two hits. Two repose. This one looks like it'll take four on it. Which is always fun. Give me a few seconds to stand back up. I'll whack him again. Not what I was planning, but okay. Let's try a big old stabby stab right in the back. Because I'm pretty sure that does more damage than the typical one. And one more to do the trick, I believe. Did we kill him and then get a, a repose off? That's yeah, fun. Well, anyway, that's how you do that little glitch. It's easy enough, considering they start far enough away you can just close out before they kill you quickly. It's real easy, real simple, actually. We got only 52 minutes, that leaves us not too much longer left for the video. But it should be just enough time to reach the next land. I'm pretty sure there's only one enemy in between us and it. This one here. Which also, they, these guys right here have a little jump attack, which you saw them try to do twice, where they jump up in the air, hover for a few minutes, and they land on top of your head. Now that attack will cause frenzy. But here's the good thing for us. With our Yahargul armor, we're pretty resistant to frenzy. And a lot of physical damage, really. Let's get more skill. Do that boosts our damage base and our ability to shove our arm up the rectums of an enemy. Farewell. Which is always awesome. Now let's quickly check and see if we can buy ourselves the fire paper, which I see more than do. Tubes. Am I really not remembering what I need to kill to get the fire paper? Because it's not Pyro, because he drops the bolt paper, which I will need to get now, soon at least. But what drops the bolt paper? I mean, the fire paper. I've killed Gascoigne and the Cleric Beast. I've killed the Blood Starved Beast, Vicarmelia. I've killed Gascoigne. I've killed that one hunter. Uh, what else should I have fought by now? I've even fought the Witches of Hemwick. Uh. Hmm. No, I'm really not sure what I need to get. Well... I still don't really know why they put the tutorial stuff for attacking and weapons at the bottom of the steps when you start way up over there. And also, this is the final area of the game right here, which is where I'll be ending it off, despite, you know, that's kind of a funny little thing right there, just like, this is the final area of the game, but not. 
Anyway, um... Well, suppose I'll wait for y'all next time in case you do decide to come and watch. I hope y'all have been enjoying thus far, and can't wait to see y'all next time. Peace.